Hello YouTube. I am so sorry I am late posting this week's readings. This corona stuff has me so messed up it's not even funny. I'm sure you all feel my pain. I have a new deck right here. I haven't even posted the unboxing video yet. You'll see that tomorrow. But I'm had I had to I had to use it. I couldn't wait. This is the first deck, second and third. I'm going to give you guys 10 seconds of silence to pick your deck. Then all you have to do is go to the description box, find your timestamp, and fast forward if you don't feel like watching through it. I'm going to give you 10 seconds of silence starting when I snap my thumbs to choose your cards. Now, why don't we go ahead and get right on into it. Make sure you stay tuned at the end of each reading for your bonus oracle readings, okay? Hello, group number one. You guys have chosen the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition Dirk, Deck. Dirk. <laughs> uh, I apologize again for posting so late. I'm sure you guys are also in a similar state of chaos yourselves. So I'm sure you feel my pain and kind of understand where I'm coming from. Um, this is your general reading for the week of the 22nd through the 28th of March, 2020. This covers all things that could be happening to you this week, not just romance like the love reading does. This week, I see a lot of new stuff for you. Your first card is the Knave of Coins. That's gonna be new, new actions with your resources and money. So that could be starting to save money, that could be opening a new bank account, new credit card, anything new with resources. For some of you, it could even be a new place to live. I have the King of Cups, so I feel like emotionally you're pretty, pretty stable. You may even be a water sign, like, I think you're pretty put together. But you also have the Knave of Cups. So you either are moving into a new emotional commitment or attachment or um, like unlocking your intuition, kind of learning to trust that. I've also got the star. So your hopes, wishes, and dreams will be likely to come true this week. Take This is a good time to take a look at Law of Attraction. Just saying. I do see a tower moment, but really right now, we all have a tower moment. So don't freak out too bad about that. You've also got the Nine of Coins, which is just kind of laying back and enjoying your life and everything in it. And with the quarantine, of course, I think everybody's kind of doing that right now. We also have the Knave of Wands, which is a new interest, desire, passion, or career. Because this is a general, I can't tell you exactly which one it's going to be. You'll know. I also have the Eight of Wands. So there's going to be a lot of movement, a lot of communication, maybe even love for you this week. Now, as for the oracle cards for this week, we're going to start with the messages from the moon. So it's speak and conscious. Don't hesitate to speak your mind this week. Speaking is the only way that you're going to get the things that you need to get done. And as far as conscious, make sure that you're consciously aware of everything going on. Don't just focus on one thing and tune everything else out and kind of stay aware of world events. Don't just focus all your energy on Corona, for example, and ignore that people are getting shot next door. Okay. Just keep that in mind. If you liked what you've seen, please take a moment and press the subscription button and click the bell to be notified whenever I post another video. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I can't do that without you guys. It means the world. And when I get to a thousand subscribers, I promise I'll show you all the little dance I do whenever I get a new subscriber. Make sure you check the description box. Everything you could possibly want is there. Information about the cards used, my social media, Amazon wish list, payment information, if you want a, pri a private reading, $10 or more is usually what I get, but you can send what you want. Um, make the payment, message me with the payment name, your question or questions, and whether you prefer public or private, and I'll have it posted within the day. You'll also find my Patreon down there, and joining my Patreon gets you access to either two, four, or unlimited free readings a month. 
All you have to do is join up. Five, ten, or fifteen dollars. Check it out. Other than that, I post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and sometimes more often, depending on requested readings. So make sure you keep an eye on my page for more content. I will see you all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Hello, group number two. You guys have chosen the brand new Old English Tarot. And I hope that you have forgiven me for being a little late this week. I'm sure you all know how insane things are right now. Psst, leave that be, miss. Um, this week has probably been pretty insane for the whole world, for real. But... All right. It's funny because this is now the second reading this week to get the tower card, but let's not skip ahead. First, we have the queen of coins. So I see you're, you're nurturing, you're loving, you're pretty down to earth. You're not letting this whole mess shake you up too much. Good on you. I do see where you probably have some new ventures coming your way this week or an opportunity to take a leap of faith and do something different. And I also see justice being served for you this week. So if there's a situation that you feel like you're being chipped in, it'll be righted this week. I've also got the Six of Swords. And that was the cat killing my whole shelf. I might as well just leave it in and finish. <laughs> um, the Six of Swords is a journey, spiritual or otherwise. So for some of you, you may be going somewhere. For the rest of you, you're just probably doing some soul searching while you're stuck inside in quarantine. We've also got the devil. So for some of you, that may be an actual addiction or issue that you're trying to kick. For others, it may be a lust. Basically, the devil card is all the things you associate with the Christian devil. So each person's going to have something different. I do have the lovers. So many of you have a choice to make, either between people or between following your morals or otherwise. Again, I have the tower card, just like I did in the first. The whole world is in the middle of a tower moment right now, so don't think too much about that. It's not terrible, I promise. You also have the Eight of Cups. So many of you are feeling like you're missing something right now and you're searching for it. And finally, we have the Eight of Wands. Now, honestly, I'm feeling like this is um, doing your work, kind of bringing in the harvest. It's not usually something I would, I would think of, but I'm looking at these guys down here on the bottom and it's really catching my attention. Like everything's going to pay off. The work is going to pay off by the end of the week. It's been a rough, bumpy ride, but you're still going to get what you need. I know it's not the typical meaning, but it's what's coming to me this time, so... Now, as for your messages from the moon and messages from the earth cards. Hmm. I have sparkle and nature. Don't hesitate to let your own self shine through in everything you're doing right now. And try and embrace as much of nature as you can, even with everything going on. Try and get as, as much of nature as you can. I hope you've enjoyed everything you've seen. If so, please press that subscription button and click the bell next to it to get notified whenever I post the next video. I need a thousand subscribers and I can't do it without you. Also, check the description box. You'll find the information about the cards used, payment information. So if you want a personal reading, submit a payment. I usually get 10 or more dollars, but you can send what you can. Message me with the name that the money was sent under, as well as your question or questions, and private or public, and I'll have it posted within the day. My Patreon is also down there. Five, ten, or fifteen dollars gets you two, four, or unlimited free readings a month, plus exclusive content you won't get anywhere else. You'll also find my social media, Amazon wish list, and a spiritual subscription box with a discount code. I post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday with some extras in between when I can. And I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye, guys. Stay Hello, healthy. Hello, group number three. You guys have chosen the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck. And I hope that you have forgiven me for being late. I apologize and explained in the beginning. This corona stuff has just made everything insane this week. And it, it's been a challenge. But I'm here. 
Um, hopefully you guys are doing well and staying safe and healthy. I'm doing my best I can to keep everybody's minds occupied with my TikTok and my YouTube. I did forget to mention one of my other readings, but follow me on TikTok. I do do um, tarot readings every night there. Donation optional, which means if you need a free reading, you can get one there. And um, oh yeah, I post some pretty cool stuff. All right. So your first card is the Ace of Cups. You're starting this week out with a lot of blessings, spiritual and emotional fulfillment, happy, good time energy, which is great to have right now. There is an ending or maybe some betrayal. Again, this is general, so it could be either or or both. Um, but you will end up enjoying your resources, enjoying some leisure time at home. I think everybody kind of is this week, though. So you also have a chance for a new opportunity or a leap of faith. So enjoy that with the full card. With the Nine of Wands, it's a warning to let your walls down. They're built a little too high and the good things and good people can't get in. You do have the chariot, which is strength of will taking you places. Use your will. It's going to get you places. Literally, that's what it means. I also have the Empress card, which is fertility, feminine energy, and just all around Mother Nature type vibes. And finally, I have the Three of Pentacles. So this week, especially teamwork is going to be good for you, um, whether it be at work, at home, in your relationship, whatnot. Working with others is going to be the way to go. Your messages from the moon and messages from the earth cards are getting pulled now. Your messages from the moon card is receive. And your messages from the earth card is abundant. Open yourself up. Be grateful. Be happy. And you will receive even more. And... Keeping that vibe, that peaceful, happy, grateful vibe will keep you abundant. I promise you that. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please press that subscription button if you haven't already. And make sure you click the little bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video. Check out the description box. I have all the cards used. All my personal information such as social media and, and Amazon wish list. There's also the payment information. So if you want to do a personal reading... You submit payment. I usually get $10 or more, but whatever is good for you. Um, message me with the name the payment was under, as well as your question or questions, and whether you prefer private or public. And I will get the readings posted within the day. Everybody will be happy. Woohoo! You will also see uh, my Patreon information there. If you join, the, the tiers are $5, 10 and $15, and you get two, four, or unlimited free readings a month. You also get exclusive content you can't get anywhere else. Check it out. All in all, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you again very soon. I post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday with extras usually. And um, yeah, I will see you guys again then. Bye, y'all.